Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode we are taking a look at a product known as Nano Tips. This product allows you to use your everyday fabric or leather gloves with your smartphone or your tablet. Go ahead and get comfortable, we're going to take a look at it now. As many of you guys know, I live in the mountains of North Carolina where we get lots of rain during the summer, we get a lot of snow, sleet, and ice during the winter. So that means that for a good part of the year, I'm wearing gloves. Now, of course, living in the connected world that we do, we have smartphones, we have tablets. Oftentimes, I'm out and about, and I want to interact with my Facebook friends. I like to upload photos and stuff like that. To take your gloves off so that you can interact with your device can be a pain in the butt, especially if it's nice and cold, whatever. As you may know, with gloves, they typically do not work on your device. And that is where NanoTips changes that. A NanoTips will work with just about every pair of gloves out on the market, any sort of fabric. Now when you're going out looking for this product, make sure to pay attention because there are two different models, I guess you could say, out there. You have the black, which is good for leather, man-made leather, Gore-Tex, and then you have the blue, and that is meant for fabrics and fleeces. So you definitely want to buy the right one for your glove tie. Before we go any further into this preview and testing, I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera, or we'll take a look at the packaging now. So here you have it. You have the black nano tips, and you have the blue. And like I said before, this is for leathers and rubbers and Gore-Tex, and this is for fabrics and fleeces and stuff like this. On the back side, you just have basic instructions. This product is made in Canada. So we took a look at the packaging. We might as well go ahead and open these up. On the inside of each box, you do have instructions, and you also have the bottles themselves. The blue, of course, fabrics, fleeces, is coated in blue, and the black one is actually coated in white. And of course it's labeled. So as you can see here, we're taking a look at the little bottles. Now Nanotips uses a nanotechnology to essentially mimic the human skin. And that's why it's supposed to work with your tablet and smartphone. Now it should be mentioned that neither one of these products are a permanent solution. This is something that will have to be reapplied over time. The blue here essentially can treat your gloves 15 times. And you will reapply this every two to four weeks. The black also needs to be reapplied every two to four weeks, and you can apply this about 30 times. You can find this on their website, which you'll find a link for in the description box below, and the price runs about $20. Right here in front of you, we have my favorite pair of gloves. We have a pair of Mammut wool gloves, and we have a pair of leather gloves from Marmot. We're going to take nano tips, and we're going to make these so that we can use them with our smart devices. Now when it comes to using your hands with your smart device, you typically use your thumb and your forefinger. So on our gloves, those are going to be the fingers that we're going to apply the nano tips to. Now for this, I'm going to take a look at the instructions real quick. So essentially what we're going to do here is shake our nano tips. We're going to apply it to the finger, to the thumb, basically where you would be using your finger to touch the screen. You want to get the position right so it feels normal. It says that we're going to dry it for two to three minutes and it does show a picture of a hair dryer here on the instructions, so we shall do that. Now, since I am right-handed, I will be applying this only to the right hand. Typically, I hold my phone to my left and navigate with my right. Now, for this test, we're going to start with the blue fabric and the wool glove here. Let's go ahead and do this now. So, I have taken my glove, I have put it on, and basically, I'm just going to hold my device so I can get a good idea of exactly where I would be touching the screen if I had these gloves on. So... Essentially, I would be touching right with the tip of my finger. So that's where I'm going to apply that there. And I like to use the side of my finger for when I'm actually holding my device and using it. So we're going to do the top here, and we're going to use apply the product right here on the side. So we're going to shake this up one more time. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And we're going to go ahead and apply that now. And it just soaks right into the fabric. We're going to make sure that we apply this evenly. That would be very important. Now 
I want to make sure that I have good coverage across the top of the finger. So now we're going to go to the side of the thumb. Now we're going to use the hair dryer and dry this for about two to three minutes. So I have the hair dryer here. Now let's dry this for about two to three minutes. We'll let that glove dry. Now let's apply the black to this leather glove. So we'll shake it up. And we'll rub that across the top here. Okay. Now we'll go up the thumb. And we'll use the hair dryer again. Our gloves have dried. We might as well start with the wool gloves, the blue nano tips, and let's see how well it has worked for us. So we'll go ahead, turn around so you guys can see the tablet. Turn on the screen. And as you guys can see, sadly, it does not work. As you can see, I'm swiping my finger across the screen and I mean, it's not doing anything, anything at all. Let's go ahead and try the Nano Tips Black and see if it performs any better. As you can see here, it's nice and dry. I have it on my forefinger, my thumb. That's the black you can see on the gloves there. So. Go ahead and turn it on, rubbing with our thumb. And again, it is not working, not doing anything at all. Now, my friends, I have to say that this is a real shame. I had high hopes for this product, and at this stage, with these gloves, the product does not work. I have contacted the company in regards to this, and we shall see what they say. Now, for me, for this to be a viable product, it has to work in all conditions. It has to work with like all types of gloves. Like I said before, this is the mountains of North Carolina. We have frequent blizzards. The temperatures in the winter, 20, 10, 0, negative 10. So it has to work with a wide range of gloves for me to be able to recommend this product. Once I have spoken with the Nanotip company, and they have provided their feedback, I will do a follow-up. Maybe there's something that I have done incorrectly. We shall see. I did follow the directions to the T, and like I said, like you guys have seen, sadly, it doesn't work. First, let me go ahead and say that I have started all over with a brand new pair of gloves. Husky's got her bone kind of distracting. But anyway, I have used the blue nano tips on this very, very thin pair of knit gloves. And this happened to have worked. This actually works fairly well. As you can see here, it's working nice and good. So as you can see there, that works fairly well. Now, I do want to show you something very quickly. With these gloves, since they're so thin, you are able to type out a message very accurately. So let's just say, uh, I don't know, UFO likes to uh, kick. UFO likes to kick. I mean, so like I said, very, very accurate with a pair of gloves like this. These are just very, very simple, very inexpensive knit gloves. And I was able to apply this product very, very easily. Going back to these wool gloves, and as, as you can see, these are quite a bit thicker. I have still yet to get these to actually work. I have applied the blue nano tips probably four times now, and I cannot get it to work. To get the blue nano tips to work with gloves like this, thicker gloves, it would take a lot of that product to soak through. And, I mean, so far, I have not been able to do that. Going to the black nano tips. 
I have made a little bit of progress with these, but not a whole, whole lot. Now, one thing I did do is I went back over these gloves and I painted a much, much larger section of the fingers. And maybe you can see there. Um, it doesn't work very, very well. As you can see there, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. The zooming's not very smooth. Now for the Nano Tips Black to work well on a thick pair of leather gloves, you really have to have a very smooth surface. And these gloves right here, these are old. I've used these a great deal. And there's some creases, and I think that interrupts its ability to interact with the screen. Now, to me, that's a problem because if you're buying a product like this to use with your existing gloves, then there's going to be some creases in them and stuff like that. So to me, that's disappointing. Otherwise, I could just go out and buy a brand new pair of gloves that features a touch-sensitive finger and thumb. Now, as I mentioned, with these thin knit gloves, I'm able to navigate my tablet fairly easily. I could also navigate my phone fairly easily. But let's say that you were using a thicker pair of gloves like this and it actually worked well. If you're using your phone and you're typing on it, because of the size of the gloves and the fingers and the material, it's not going to be very, very accurate, sadly. So you may end up taking your glove off anyways. Something to consider. Now my friends, I have been doing some research and I have found some very similar reviews who match my own findings. I have also seen some reviews where the people absolutely love it and it works great. But so far into my testing, I have to say that I'm less than impressed. Now personally, I find this to be an expensive product. At $20 per bottle, it's only a temporary solution. So ultimately, if you want to continue to use your gloves with a touchscreen, you're going to have to keep buying this. You're going to have to keep applying this over time. I personally don't like that. If I'm going to alter my gloves, I want a full-time permanent solution. Now, speaking of which, for $20, you could buy a bottle of the Nano Tips and apply it yourself and continue to do so over time. Or you could go online to, say, Amazon, and you could buy a pair of gloves that allow you to use your fingers and your thumb on your tablet, on your phone, for super cheap. I've seen gloves, knit gloves, for less than $2 on Amazon. Something to consider. So my friends, let's go over the products one more time. You have the blue nano tips, which is for fabrics and wool and fleece. And then you have the black, which is for leather, rubber, Gore-Tex, and materials like that. It is a temporary solution that has to be reapplied, which also means you'll have to continue to purchase this product into the future. For the best results, you need to have a very, very thin pair of gloves. And for me, and in my environment, that doesn't work very well. It's just too cold here. Maybe in the fall, a nice pair of gloves like this will be all right. Now, as we go into the future, I will continue to use this product. And if there's any new developments, once I hear from the company, if they have some new feedback and things actually change, I will do a follow-up video. My friends, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, my friends. Take care.